I wish to join in condemning the terrorist attacks in Manchester, UK on Monday. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families and the people of the United Kingdom. I will focus, Mr. President, my remarks today on two key policy challenges that demand focused attention and leadership from the WHO. That is, the NCD crisis and the public health dimension of drug policy, in particular, the treatment of med medicinal cannabis. Mr. President, NCDs is the most pressing crisis in global health, acutely affecting my country and countries of the Caribbean subregion. Approximately 25% of Jamaicans between 15 and 74 years old have hypertension. Approximately 8% or almost 150,000 Jamaicans suffer from diabetes, with prevalence being higher among women. What is more alarming is that we face an increasing level of premature deaths from NCDs. Approximately 70% of deaths are due to the four major NCDs, 35% of which occur below the age of 70 years. We firmly believe that our response should begin with prevention. Governments must therefore promote healthy lifestyle practices, including increased physical activity and proper nutrition. We therefore call, Mr. President, on WHO to scale up its calls and support for the preventative approach and to strengthen the platforms for sharing best practices such as this across the regions. At the same time, we must arrest the, ro the root sources of the problem by discouraging excessive consumption of sugars, salts, and fats, particularly among the most vulnerable, including the poor and among children. Indeed, a most disquieting aspect of the NCD crisis is the unacceptable high levels of childhood obesity, which is increasing at an alarming rate. A survey conducted by the Pan American Health Organization of four Caribbean countries found that 30% of children aged which is between 11 and 13 are overweight or obese. Governments, therefore, must respond aggressively through concentrated efforts at targeting food intake among the school population. Mr. President, Governments supported by the WHO must work with the private sector, especially food and beverage producers, to establish a shared commitment to combat NCDs. This is the background of which, uh, against which Jamaica has established a food industry task force commissioned to make recommendations for improved food labeling and reformulation, public information and fiscal measures. The WHO must take the lead in driving the adoption of robust measures and initiatives to address the NCD crisis with all options on the table. Individual governments cannot do it alone. Indeed, while many are undertaking creative measures, some, particularly small island developing states like Jamaica, face daunting challenges including pushback from industry and other interest groups. We can and we must help the industry and all stakeholders to see the NCD fight as a win-win proposition good for health and good for business. I call for greater coordination and leadership by the WHO in addressing the NCD crisis and welcome the pledge by the incoming Director General to make this NCD battle a priority. Success in the effort will support the achievement of the most important health-related SDG goals. Secondly, Mr. President, we recognize the efforts of the WHO to address the world drug problem as an important public health issue. In this regard, we attach particular importance to the work of the Expert Committee on Drug Dependence, which is conducting a review of the medicinal value of cannabis. This review should enable the removal of cannabis from its current classification as a Schedule I drug deemed to have no medicinal benefits to another schedule which reflects its important potential for medicinal use. This will be an important step in facilitating efforts by countries like Jamaica to produce, to promote medicinal cannabis in keeping with a sound public health approach. We encourage and endorse this effort. In addition to this review, however, the WHO should provide clear leadership on the public health approach to the development of new policies on cannabis now being advanced in many countries. This should distinguish between the medicinal and recreational dimensions in the interest of public health. There is a challenge with special interest groups with significant resources seeking to leverage the medicinal objective for achieving a more liberal approach to the recreational use of cannabis. Mr. President, the discussion must be clear and based in science. 
the WHO cannot be absent from this important public policy agenda. I strongly urge the WHO to champion the public health approach to this global policy challenge. Mr. President, on behalf of the people and government of Jamaica, I wish to thank the Director General of the WHO, Dr. Margaret Chan, for her excellent leadership and contribution to public health over the past 10 years. All members of the WHO have benefited from her passionate and committed leadership, and we salute her designation as Director General Emeritus. Madam, Mr. President, in closing, I wish to welcome incoming Director General Dr. Tedros Anonom and assure him of Jamaica's full support as he leads the WHO in addressing many, many global health challenges before us. I thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution.